Okay, guys, just before this video starts, I just want you to bear in mind this is the first episode. Uh, the audio is a little bit off. I apologise for the bright light there. It's really bad. Basically, I want you guys to leave a comment down below on different options I to take, like if there was a choice to go upstairs or downstairs. Any paths you see in this that you was like, oh yeah, do the other one. Uh, leave down in the comments and I'm sure to do it in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time of your day to watch this and I'll see you guys in the video. Yo, what is going on guys? Uh, Jack Dyer here and today I'm bringing you the Stan Lee Parable. Uh, this is going to be the first episode in this series. I'm not too sure how many I'm going to do, uh, but I know for a fact there's many different endings to this game, so we're going to hop straight into it. Hopefully you guys know what this game is. Basically, um, you have someone sort of dictating your life and you can choose to either go along with him or sort of rebel against him, and you get all these different endings. I think there's 19 or 20 in this total. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Gosh, let this guy speak. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That looks like Orders a great came group. to him through a monitor on his desk telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And Sounds although like a great life. might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley that is a big office. was happy. He's got a huge desk, I'm going to be honest. And what then one day, mind? something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we go, boys. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. See, uh, this is what I mean by the command... Oh. Which way do we go? Dude, I swear there's a door there. What the fuck? Genuinely, there was a door there like two seconds ago, wasn't there? Or was I looking... Oh, I was looking back down there, I think. No mind, just grab it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Alright, okay, so this is sort of where you can sort of pick what you're going to do. You can either go to the left door or the right door. And obviously the left door is like suggested by him. I think we go for the right one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, yes, truly a room worth. Why that door shut behind me? It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I'm not moving on with my life. But eager to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. So I'm guessing this way down here will lead back to that left hand door and it will take me back. But do I want to do? Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Can I do that? No? Okay. Is this just going back to the other door? Yeah, okay. Yes, this is as if we've literally just gone left, so I've just wasted time going right and then going left anyway, but... Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting Feeling fired. Talk less. disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's The last office, tip. Don't get fired. Find an answer there. That's brilliant. That is genuinely brilliant. I don't like the fact the door's shut behind you. That's kind of unnerving. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, don't see why this would go wrong. Okay, can't touch that door. Yeah, this place just got real fancy real quick. Can I go in the bathroom? Nope. Yep.
they going to shut behind Standing it? Yeah, into his so. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it okay, an extra secret pin ah. number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, oh, yeah, Stanley buttons. happened to input the oh, correct shit. code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Dude, I'm not being funny. If you saw the rest of the building and you come into this room, look how spike. Oh, he's got webcam. Not webcam. CCTV. Well, we're fucked, don't we? But, okay. He's also got like a little side room. Like, not only has he got this beautiful office, he's also got this massive. Um. Where the fuck this is? I don't want to go down there. Okay. Looks like we're trying to go through here. Oh, really? Okay, loading the screen. Always fun. Yeah, I'm not too sure how long these episodes are going to be. It really just depends on the ending. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did How he low is this guy? Now, when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. This is not a place you want to be, does it? Really? This Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What? I'm escaping, fuck that. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't think this game has like jump scares or anything, but I'm starting to think it does. Look at this hallway, dude. I feel like I'm getting chased. behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Dude, I'm so tempted to go back. See, that's the first door that's not been closed behind me. At this point, me. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. How do you know I'm going to die? Um... That literally looks like a doorway to hell. Do I... Do I go for it, or...? Okay, fuck it. Okay. See, I could have gone back, but I really feel like going into the mind control thing wasn't the best... Oh, shit, I'm still falling. There's no way I survived that. Just landed on top. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh, to his right. demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't, can't see jump the picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps Dude, why does this person have all this? Loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief. There's no way the game ends like this. There was Stanley. I literally should have trusted the outgrow. Oh, Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. Killing him instantly. Well, at least it's quick death. Oh. What? Oh, that was the end of it. And I thought I'd escape. It would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What? Oh, you can't jump, can you? 
So, did I die? Or. Okay. We should have said that. The Stanley Parable. So, wait, is this the end of the game? Oh. Is it the end of the game, or is this still. Dude, what am I. Dude, that is literally pitch blackness. I can't even see where I came from now. This looks like the only way I can possibly go. Dude, is this heaven? No. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? Wait, that's his actual computer? Okay, well that's really interesting. Oh, hang on, is this like the map? Hang on, office layout. Okay. Alright, oh, okay, so we started in this room. We sort of walked all the way around here. And then we got the two options there. Oh, was that it? Oh, okay. What are these? Oh, this, you can't go through them? Nope. Nope. Button sounds. I really feel like this is just a pointless. Oh, okay, credits. Okay. That was kind of weird. The office clock, very notorious. What's down there? Does that just lead the exact same way? No? Maybe? What the hell is all this? Okay. Outtakes, no thank you. Oh yeah, so we went down the escape, but maybe if we went to the mind control for us, ah, uh, for it will be a different ending. Because as I said, there are 19 different endings to this game, but um, I'm guessing I didn't pick the best ending. I'm pretty sure there must have been a better ending than just getting crushed. See, why, this is like a museum I'm guessing, and it's just got filing cabinets, and that is the extent of one of the exhibits here. What's through here? This game is like so bright, like this is incredible. The war zone. End of Stanley. What? Early development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would. I realized shortly after starting to build that, it was far too joking on the note. See, that would be a cool ending. Going to a war zone and fighting all these aliens in. Like a Tron sort of world. That looks crazy sick. See, that looks pretty cool. I want that ending. Are these all the different endings? Dude, this museum is crazy big. What the fuck? Uh, but, oh, that's his office. This is like his actual office thing. And there's three of them. Okay, we'll just move along with our lives. Uh, but yeah, as I said, there are many different endings to this, so if this video does actually go down well, uh, I might consider doing some... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Oh, I've got to turn the game off here. Oh, okay. Can I'll you turn... see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Was that the complete end of it? Right? Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you oh, move okay. forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Oh, so there's Don't like... Choose it. Don't you can't actually beat the game. For you. Don't let time... Oh, yep, yeah, that was, yeah, violent death. Okay, right, um, so I'm guessing that's the complete and utter end of the game now, um, just for this playthrough. Um, there are many different endings, as I explained at the start, so I'm going to try and play through all of them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm not really sure how well this is going to go down. Look at the recording, it's about 15 minutes long, so I might cut some little bits out, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy this and want some more of the different endings, uh, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and in fact if you leave a comment tell me like which route to take and i'll try and take it on the game and then we'll see if we get a better ending that way 
I might actually look up to see if you can actually get the alien ending or if it's literally irrelevant and it's out of the game. But I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. My homies just chillin', feelin' the vibes It's the time of our lives, but many don't realize Having visions of living on another level Never signed of the devil, the rebel That be fuckin' around with the treble